Because I think you see that type of that type of thinking in the last 10, 15, 20 years has become more common amongst Americans, particularly on the conspiracy theory right. But I think you see it on the left and, and among centrists as well. Do you have any thoughts about the permeation of that type of smoke and mirrors thinking to the broader American populace? Is this is something like you deal with every day? Oh, totally. I mean, just to give you an example, a couple of weeks ago, there was some guy that was like convinced that he found um, a- AOC's burner account, some Twitter account that was saying all these crazy things. And I, I clicked on it to see what the basis of his believing that was. And it was like s- some anonymous account like tagged her and something. The evidence was just like very thin. And then just yesterday, I see everyone tweeting about they found Elon Musk's burner account. And then I wanted to, I was, it, you know, it'd be funny if that was true. So I looked at it. And then it was like, um, what was the evidence? The evidence was that his picture and some post of his account had the same picture as the, as, as this other account. So, so the evidence is that how would this account have access to some photo that, that, that Musk had access to? It's kind of like, I mean, maybe, but it's kind of, it's just like, it, it just drove home to me this point that it's like, everyone is seeing these things, these and making, drawing these conclusions based on like what seems to be pretty scant evidence. And it's like, um, not, you know, I, I kind of thought that when I first saw QAnon come about, I thought that this was like going to be pretty confined to the right wing, but like anybody who paid close attention to some of the excesses of Russiagate can see that uh, similar tendencies happen on on the left liberal wing too. And so I, I think you're exactly right. <laughs> this has permeated the entirety of the culture. And in the case of the IC, I think you see, you know, a, a particularly concentrated and, and, and dramatic version of that paranoia. But yeah, it's like the whole, it's the whole culture, I think. Ken, I don't, I mean, this is sort of a half comment, half question, but I, I, I question the, the analogy of, you know, saying a Havana syndrome is not a thing. You're not being blasted with a, a microwave gun and comparing that to, to things like agent orange and, uh, you know, Gulf war syndrome. There are obviously a long list of things that the U S government has done to its own people, to its own soldiers, uh, that it's tried to cover up, but this isn't the same. Th- I mean, they were rushing to blame this on China rush. Cause it's, it's not the same thing. It's not us doing it. And then trying to say, no, no, this, everything's fine. Don't worry about it. It, it was an attack. We were being attacked. Our diplomats and our spies. I, I don't, I, I don't know that that analogy makes sense. I'm, I'm curious, you know, how you responded to that when people started talking about things like agent orange, it just doesn't.